The name of this movie is Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. The film starts by showing a planet called, Nowhere, which is now the new headquarter of the Guardians. For you, here we are shown all the team of the Guardians. One of them, Rocket Raccoon, goes to a room. Then from another planet, Adam Warlock comes there who goes straight into the Rocket's room because he had come to catch him. As soon as the Rocket comes in front of him, he attacks him. Seeing this attack, all the Guardians become alert. After that, a nebula comes there to save the Rocket. She was already very powerful. Now she puts a high-tech machine in her body, i.e. a very advanced machine, attacks Adam Warlock. But Adam Warlock, who was very powerful, very easily stops his attack. He throws it away and stacks it. Now after this, all the Guardians attack him one by one. But he was not in anyone's control. Although they pick him up and throw him, beat him a lot. But no one can stand in front of him. Now after seeing all these situations, when the rocket picks up its gun and starts moving towards it, before that Adam Warlock attacks him heavily. Such a dangerous attack that the rocket gets injured in a snap. Being late, he also fell at one place. Despite all this, the nebula does not give up. She gets up again and makes a sword in her hand, which she goes and stabs Adam Warlock in the stomach. Now he is so injured that the fairy also becomes conscious. Now before all the guardians attack him again, Adam Warlock gets up and quickly runs away from nowhere. Now Peter and his companion come to the rocket, who was also injured and lying there. To treat him, a device to cure the injuries is attached to his body. But as soon as the machine is activated, the rocket starts to tremble. Looking at it, it seemed as if the machine was taking the life of the rocket. Seeing this, the nebula immediately ran there. She tells Peter to quickly turn off this machine. Then she scans and checks the whole body of the rocket and tells everyone that a lot of machines have been fitted inside his body. Inside all those machines, there is also a machine which is attached to the heart of the rocket. And if anyone tries to treat the rocket without removing that machine, then the same machine will take the life of the rocket. And all this was happening with the rocket because of the machine which was trembling. All the guardians start to cure the rocket. While the rocket, who was injured, was unconscious, he starts to remember his old memories, that is, his past, the past. In his memories, it is shown that many years ago, the rocket was a small raccoon, which is an animal, which was trapped in a cage with its own prey. But one day, the high evolutionary came there. He stole the rocket and then experimented on it. After that, the rocket's mind becomes very sharp. Its intelligence, its strength goes much higher than that of the high evolutionary. But as soon as the experiment is completed, the poor rocket is put in another cell. There were many other animals like him here. He was also brought here by imprisonment to experiment. Those three animals become friends with the rocket. There, Nebula checks the whole body of the rocket and finds out where the machines fitted in it were made. So they all started thinking that if we go to the place where these machines were made, then it is possible that we will cure the rocket. And then the next moment he decides to go there, which was another planet, whose name was Orbiscope. Peter prepares his entire team, while he leaves his two companions here in Navier and tells them that you both have to take care of this place. Immediately after taking the rest of the team, Peter left for his mission. Now we are shown the High Evolutionary, where Adam Warlock and his mom were with him. Here, Adam Warlock's mom tells the High Evolutionary that my son is still very small. This is the reason that he failed in the mission, did not get the rocket. Hearing this, the High Evolutionary became very angry. He says that no matter how, I want the rocket. Saying this, he beats Adam Warlock a lot and threatens his mom and son that if you fail to get the rocket next time and do not hand it over to me, then I will kill your entire generation. Here we come to know that the high evolutionary is a whole planet. This whole planet is just like our Earth. That's why its name is also Counter Earth. Now here the high evolutionary is so crazy. So strange that he wants that all the planets and the animals and creatures living there should be absolutely perfect. That is, absolutely right in every way. That's why he goes to different planets and picks up the animals and creatures the Rian experiments on the Mon tries to change them according to himself. He changes them so much that they become perfect according to his thinking. Similarly, when the High Evolutionary went to the planet Earth to take the animals and creatures, that is, on our land, he liked the Earth so much that he decided that now I will also make a planet just like planet Earth, which will look and its environment will be just like Earth. Even the houses and people there will be like planet Earth. This whole planet is called Counter-Earth. The Guardian's team sat in their ship and reached near the Orbiscope. 
But before they go inside the Orbiscope, some people come in their ship, one of whom is Gamora. Here all these people tell Peter Quill and the rest that Nebula has actually called us here because she has promised us that she will give us a reward of 100,000 if we go with her and help her. That's why now we have also come to support you in your mission. In his memories, in the past, we see again that the High Evolutionary was the best and perfect rocket among all the experiments he had done so far. Because the brain of the rocket is very fast compared to everyone. First of all, the High Evolutionary holds the rocket and takes a test of its brain. And when the rocket passes that test, the High Evolutionary understood that the rocket is really very smart and smart. After which he showed the rocket counter earth where the rocket looks at the flying rocket and asks what it is. This is the rocket that always flies in the air. After which he brought the rocket's brain to a lab to test more. He shows the rocket a chamber the Riant puts a turtle in the chamber in front of his eyes. And now he tries to change that turtle. Now the turtle changes, but at the same time it becomes very aggressive and angry. The high evolutionary showing this to the rockets AYS that I am able to change them, they are also perfect, but I do not understand one thing why do they become aggressive when I want to make them completely calm. Hearing this, the rocket looks at the chamber machine and tells the high evolutionary that there is a problem in this machine, when it is put in the chamber machine and all of them are changed, then along with changing them, a chemical of their brain also changes on that is the reason for all of them to become aggressive. So if you stop that chemical from changing, then all of them will be completely calm as you want. The high evolutionary was very happy to see this and was also very surprised and happy that now I have succeeded in my experiment. High evolutionary was so happy that he tells his colleagues that I want the brain of my project rocket. He is very smart, very intelligent. He really has such a brain that I do not even have. High evolutionary was also angry that this rocket raccoon is my subject. I have made it like this through my experiment, so how can it be smarter than me? Although it is a small creature, but still he tells his colleagues that kill it as soon as it happens tomorrow morning, take out its brain and give it to me, I will experiment on its brain and find out how it can think so creatively and then with its help I will make a new world where I will only keep those creatures which will be completely perfect in every way, just like me. And yes, after taking out its brain, kill its colleagues too because they are of no use to us now. As soon as he says this, the rocket is again locked in his jail. As soon as he comes to jail, the rocket tells his colleagues that we will be killed as soon as tomorrow morning. So now we have to do something and get out of here. After that, we will sit in the spaceship outside and get out of here. As soon as he says this, the rocket collects all the things there and makes a key. With that key, he opens the lock of his jail but then the high evolutionary comes there and shoots his friend due to which the rocket's friend dies there. Then the high evolutionary tells him he knew you would try to run away from here so that's why I had to come here and now I will kill your other colleague Sand right now I will take out your brain. I won't wait till morning. In front of his eyes, the rocket is very sad to see his friend dead and now he was also very angry. He attacks the high evolutionary and kills him. As soon as he came out of the Rian sat in the spaceship and took him out of there, that is, he was released from the High Evolutionary. There, the whole team of Guardians comes together with Gamerato that planet Orbiscope. Then they reached there and came to the main area. At this place, all the information of the rocket was taken out of the rocket file. Then after coming to their ship, the Guardians team opens the rocket file. All of them know what has happened with the rocket so far. After that, the story of the rocket that we saw in the past, all the Guardians team also sees it. All the Guardians know that the High Evolutionary has done a lot of wrong with the rocket. Watching the video, Nebula started pitying the rocket a lot. She says that so much injustice has never happened to anyone. Then everyone found out that the machine in the heart of the rocket, which is not being treated for it, can be removed but the Guardians could not find out. This is because the people of the High Evolutionary had removed the code from the rocket file. But the Guardians find out through the file that who has removed that code. And now who has the information of that code. So now they decide that we will go to that man and take the code from him and save the life of the rocket. But Gamora refuses to do this and tells them that that man is near the high evolutionary at the moment. So if we go there, everyone will be killed. So now I can't help you. She then sends her companion to her location that where am I at this time and come to pick me up quickly. But we see that her companion has been caught by Adam Warlock and his mom in the horoscope. So as Gamora sends her location, Adam Warlock and his mom also found out about it. So that's why she goes to catch the Guardians. As soon as the Guardians reach the High Evolutionary, he tells them that you know what my plan is. 
Now I will kill you all and get the rocket from you which is my subject. I have done all this. I have called you here through my plan. After which he orders his people that there is a rocket in the Guardian's ship outside. Go and get it quickly. Then the High Evolutionary goes and sits in his ship and orders his people to destroy the whole planet after my departure. His people start doing the same. They start destroying the planet by flying the ship which leads to explosions everywhere. Seeing all this, the two people of the Guardians team Peter and Groot who were the rest start fighting with the people of the High Evolutionary. With his powerful gun, he starts shooting the Mond picks up the man who has the code of that machine through which he can save. The Rocket. Now Peter's other companions see that the whole planet is being destroyed while the High Evolutionary is getting his ship out of here. Now the three members of the Guardians team feel that Peter and Groot are still in the spaceship. To save them, they go to the spaceship. But in reality, Peter and Groot had already jumped out of the spaceship with the man. Peter and Groot go straight to the rocket in their spaceship. They put the code in the rocket throw which the machine which was close to his heart gets closed. Peter also treats his wounds through which the rocket gets completely fine. Now Nebula contacts Peter and asks HIM where are you? We came to the spaceship to save you. Peter tells him that me and Groot have already left from there. We are in our spaceship. The rocket is also with US now the three members of the Guardians team quickly try to get out of the spaceship. But first the high evolutionary comes the re and imprisons them. The three members of the Guardians team see that there are a lot of small creatures and animals here who have been imprisoned by the high evolutionary because he is going to experiment on them. Seeing this, they all decide that now we will not go alone from her but now we will free them all and take them with us. Peter and his other companions leave for the high evolutionary spaceship to save his other companions. Peter contacts his planet Nowhere and tells his companion to come here quickly where I tell you when his companion de sub location was very close to the high evolutionary spaceship. After which Peter comes in his spaceship with his companions to save his companions. Here we see a great fight between the high evolutionary, his companions and the guardians of the galaxy team. But because the guardians team was more brave, the ghost faces them well and after a great fight they defeat them on then finally they defeat the high evolutionary. They all tell the Rocketo kill the High Evolutionary quickly but the Rocket refuses to do so and tells his team that I am not like him if the High Evolutionary is like this then I cannot become like him. With this, the Guardians team frees all the people, animals, creatures imprisoned in the High Evolutionary ship. They also put them all in nowhere and come there themselves. And in doing all this, a dog accompanies them who was Peter's companion, because he uses his powers to connect the nowhere planet with the High Evolutionary spaceship. But he had put so much power that his power breaks in the middle. Due to which the Nowhere planet and the High Evolutionary spaceship are separated from each other. Due to which all the people had come to the Nowhere planet but Peter was still in the High Evolutionary spaceship. Seeing this, Peter was very scared. He jumped a long jump and tried to come to Nowhere. But by doing this, he hangs in space in the open sky where his condition gets very bad. It felt like he was going to die. But before that, Adam Warlock came there and picks up Peter and takes him to nowhere, which saves his life. After which all the Guardians decide that now we will create a new world with all these animals, creatures and humans where he will give them all a good life and let them all become what they want. Now Peter makes Rocket the leader of the Guardians off the galaxy team and tells his companions that I have been in space since childhood on these other planets. I have been away from my family for so long, but my grandfather will still be alive on Earth. I have to go to meet him. So for some time I am taking a break from my work. After which Gamora and Peter's other companions set out on their own journey, because both of them also wanted to do what they wanted to do. Now after them all the people who survive, one by one, Rocket makes a team, who now have Adam Warlock in this new team because he had improved. Peter had come to Earth, where he meets his grandfather. They are also very happy to see him. In Nowhere, a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy is dancing. Seeing him, the children fear also start dancing. And seeing them, the rest of the team of the Guardians of the Galaxy also start dancing. Because they were liking their life a lot and they were very happy. And with this, this great movie ends here. Thanks for your time.